Hello and welcome back to my show. I hope you're all well. Let's get to the news today. We're going to talk about how George Gammon had a guest on board. His name is Bill Fleckenstein. I'll put his name and some information about him into the description aisle so you know who I'm talking about with the correct spelling, of course. Uh, so you want to stay tuned till the end because he's going to tell us about what assets we should look into. So the first topic of discussion was about trading and Bill Fleckenstein had said that uh, the first thing you want to figure out is don't go with the crowd. Think independently and do what they're not doing. So he says you could take an unpopular idea as far as trading or anywhere it works, I guess. And he said, once I know this theory works, I go big. But he said that I keep funds small so I can easily pull out at any point and explaining that the media got this wrong you need to try different tactics for trading uh, for example in trading long-term trading and investing and see what works for you and he spoke about if you want an edge in trading let's say you're in a certain position and it's a fresh new idea or theory and it's not working, ask yourselves the following questions. Why is it not working? Am I doing something wrong? Why haven't other people got on board with this? Uh, am I too early in the game? And he says, collaborate with other people if you have anybody you know of. And you can bounce ideas from each other and that could possibly put you in the right position. Now, while, jo while George Gammon had a guest recently, his name is Jim Rogers. I'll put him as well in the description so you could know who I'm talking about. He said that my guest, Jim Rogers, talked about short interests and how he would look into that when he's talking about trading. And uh, Bill, Flicken, Bill Fleckenstein spoke a little bit further about that by saying that that's actually the first thing I look at, which is short interests and how crowded they are. And he went into how if the Fed continues to money print like crazy, what's gonna happen is you won't be able to make money on the short end because that's bad news for the market. And who wants bad news, right? Bill predicts that the bond market are gonna step up their game and tell the Feds this is this quantitative easing is no more. You got this is kaput. You got to end this right now. That's what he forecasts. And that we should monitor the market and this inflation three to six months and see if it's a temporary or a long term thing. And we will get their information of their thoughts within that period of time so we can keep you in the loop. So he has spoke about these preconditions. We're in the right environment to have high inflation get out of spiral out of control because we have high interest rates and shortages coming. But he said, quote, this is the greatest uh, potential opportunity for more inflation, not a scare, but something real we haven't seen the past 35 or 40 years. And he said, if you could find some assets to outperform in this time of, quote, secular decline, this would be something you need to really seriously look into. He said, one of them would be gold mining companies, explaining that they there's great balance sheets for them. Their, their mining are in great places. They have very good growth profiles. They're selling at 10 times their earnings and they pay dividends. And he named one company, he said New Gold. And he said this company started out down the tubes, but one guy came in and gave it his pickup and now it's surviving and thriving. And they're selling at about six times their earnings. It's got an upside. Its valuations are from the early 70s to late 70s to early 80s. Valuations, he said, if you want to own a couple of these, it might not be a bad idea. Also, further, he explained that if you want to protect yourself, you might want to consider buying securities. There are a lot out there. 
that have the same valuations, that are cheap valuations. And he had mentioned about this, George Gammon actually, or one of them, talked about this individual, his name is Paul. I'll get his last name, put it in the threads for you. But he said that at one point, he jacked interest rates 200 points to break the back of inflation. Put that all in quotes now. And what happened? What was the end effect? Pro the price of gold, get this people, tripled in October 1979 and January 1980. And that gold, quote, ran while rates were rising. That's interesting stuff, isn't it? And they closed it off with George Gammon asking Bill, now what's going on and what mistakes are the feds doing? And Bill said they're misallocating resources for one. And he said, if you inflate asset prices, you will have far more problems than you do with rising CPI prices. I hope you guys learned something because I certainly did. I want to thank you. That's all I have for today. I want to wish you guys a, a safe and blessed weekend. Amazing one. And I want to thank you for w taking from your valuable time to watch me. And uh, also comment if you have any comments, questions, tomatoes. And uh, share, like, do all that cool stuff that people are talking about. Give me a heads up, a thumbs up. <laughs> Tells you I'm not on Facebook, right? Okay, not a bad thing. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll see you. Thanks again for your support and watching, and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much again. Bye.